so far we've looked at how to import data in r and how to check that the import has been done successfully now let's look at some additional options that we can use with the read command in r so we go to the r gui now the simplest thing to do in r in order to get help on a particular command is to just type a question mark and then the command name so we say question mark read dot table this has opened the help file for us for uh, read dot table now this help file is available for all the commands in r it starts with the description of the command so here it says reads a file in table format and creates a data frame from it as we've seen with cases corresponding to lines which means that each record is a line and variables or columns to fields in the file so this is essentially what the read dot table command does now let's look at uh, some of the options that go with it we come down here and we can see that we've used the file option we specified the name of the file this is a compulsory option the second thing that we've used is the header option where we told r that this data set has header information in it the first row contains the header information we also use the sep option where we told r that the separator in this data set is a comma so we use a comma separated file and we specified the separator as comma there are a lot of other options that are available that we've not looked at so for example if we use the quote option this is often used when you have quotes in your data in the character fields usually dec option is another important one this tells r what character is used in the file for decimal points we know that some countries use comma as a decimal while others use a dot the default for decimal points is a dot in r and we use this option when we want to specify a comma instead as a decimal point row dot names is another option if we want to give row names call dot names is an option that we use when we want to give optional names often we want to rename our fields or we want to provide an additional name to them and usually what we do is v1 v2 v3 v4 and you will see later how that can be helpful and call dot names is the option that we use to specify the additional names na dot strings is another important option this option is valid for the character fields mainly and this tells r what string of characters is used to denote na values or not applicable values or missing values so if we have a data set where we've used na for missing values then na dot strings is the option that we will use to tell r that na stands for missing there are a lot of other options here that you can see strip dot white is another important option this is used only when the separator has been specified what this does is it allows the stripping of leading and trailing white spaces from unquoted character fields so often we have character fields in the data set that could have trailing or leading white spaces we won't even know about it because they are not easy to see so strip dot white will essentially tell r that if there is any character field strip out all the white spaces that are before the characters and white spaces that are after the characters blank dot lines tells r that if we set this option as true then any blank line in the data set is ignored similarly you can see other options here as well these are all options to be used with the read command and you can look at them you can go through these in detail in order to understand the r command better you will obviously not be able to remember all the options that go with the r command so the best thing is to know that you can access this help function and you can get all the information that you need so in case you run into any issues while importing data this is where you can go to add or specify additional options that will help you import data correctly